Yeah, originally, um, I wanted to direct my father, Lloyd Bridges, in a film. Uh, <laughs> and um, I wanted to uh, uh, direct him in a film that my kids could see, and they were little kids back in those days. They're all in their you know, 30s now. <laughs> Uh, and so I got myself a uh, catalog of children's books and I saw this great uh, cover with this grizzled old guy on the cover and the Newberry Award there stamped on the cover. I thought, oh, this, is, this could be a good one. Let me, uh, let me pick this book up. Oh, and by the way, I found out later uh, that Lois took that photograph, <laughs> which I love so much. Anyway, I thought... Um, I'll get this book, this will be a, a wonderful uh, book to read, and I read it, and it was a, a terrific children's book, but also I uh, enjoyed it so much as an adult, and found the themes, you know, so uh, important, and, uh, and the poetry of it really, uh, you know, I just, I just love. So I thought, oh, this is going to be an easy one, you know, <laughs> to get made, but I was mistaken. Uh, um, we tried for, you know, close to eight, you know, 18, 19 years to get it made, and um, it proved to be difficult, I think because it was quite uh, controversial. Uh, Lois and I, not too long ago, were in Las Vegas at a banned book conference, and uh, the book was banned uh, in many areas, in many places, but uh, also it was taught in many schools. Uh, I, how many of you guys out there, uh, you know, read the book in school? It was like mandatory reading, yeah, huh? Wow. Look at that! Isn't that wild? So uh, that you know that 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 controversy, um, I think, scared some financiers away, but it also inspired me. I said, "Oh wow, there's you know the energy of this thing, you know, being the, pole, the two poles, you know, people saying, oh, it's too too risky, you know, we don't want to show our kids that, and the other ones, oh yeah, this is the kind of thing we want our kids to learn." So um, I'm so glad that uh, the uh, Weinstein Company and uh, Walden finally uh, got the courage to put it out. I have to admit, I'm, I don't understand the, the controversy and why anyone would want to ban this story. Lois, what, what's the reasoning? What I've never actually figured it out myself because <laughs> often people take things out of context. There are two scenes in the book that would be held up as, this is disgusting, we don't want our children to read this. One is the scene you just saw part of in, in the little film clip, where the father kills the infant. That's a difficult scene, it's important to the book. And you can understand why, why people are unnerved by it. The other, <laughs> not in the movie, is a scene where the boy, 12 in the book, uh, bathes an old woman. So there's the 12-year-old boy with a naked woman in, in and the I bathtub. Loved, I loved it when, when that scene was cut from the film. Lois, I know you were very disappointed because you wanted to play that I, old I was going <laughs> <laughs> to you know, It's the only yeah, old lady. Exactly. I thought I'd be a cameo at any rate. You've been waiting 20 years for that. <laughs> <laughs> and when they the Finally, I'm old enough to play that old woman, but they cut the scene from the... You from both the aged into the roles then. It's um, let me think, bro. Um, Maleficent yeah. was a long time ago. That was maybe three years ago. Wow. This was a quick turnaround. Mm -hmm. um, from shooting it to it coming out it was less than, less than a year, mm -hmm. which is crazy. Maleficent, I think it took two and a half years to come out. So um, it's it's kind of it's cool to to be here this year for, to watch them all come to life because you, you know life on set is very different and very mm -hmm. um, monotonous. Not, not monotonous, but it's, it's kind of like Groundhog Day. You know, you go to a certain <laughs> different scene and then you in the desert getting chased by a snake or something. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it's interesting. This whole experience is cool, and it, it'd be really, um, really cool to see what you guys think of the movie. Was there a particular scene in The Giver that you were most looking forward to shooting? I like, just couldn't wait to get to that particular part in the script. I mean, I was really excited to... Um... Don't touch me, man. <laughs> <laughs> you touched me, bro. <laughs> you touched me. <laughs> it's really... It's really... <laughs> Well, it's not nice in real life. <laughs> Lois wasn't as rude to me. He can touch me all he wants. <laughs> what did you say? What did you say? He can touch me all he wants. She's ready for her bath. <laughs> <laughs> he 
you, can you guys read this sign? It says, please be aware that there are many members of our audience that are under 18 years of age. We're getting a little racy here. Now who's the chief elder, Jim? <laughs> Protect the children. So, Odea, you, you, uh, you portray Fiona, and in the story, she's much younger than you actually are. Uh, what do you think adding a few years to the character for the purpose of the film uh, actually does to maybe change the perspective of her, or does it not at all? I think it does, because in the book, when Jonas starts to develop feelings, he starts to develop feelings for Fiona, and it's kind of a crush, because it's, you know, the feelings can only go, like, to an extent as a 12-year-old, as a but when you're 16, 17, I think it's much more severe. And when he falls in love with her, he realizes how cruel the society actually is. So it just it makes um, the injections and the, the community seem even more harsh. Uh, Lois said earlier that the, the book, she thinks the book uh, makes a connection because it raises questions that people have. I guess it, makes a, it raises questions and makes you feel not so alone that you're asking the same questions. Well, uh, what did the book, what connection did you make with the book uh, when you first read it? Um, I think it just, for me, it just really hit me of how incredible life is and how much we have to cherish certain moments. Um, a lot of memories that, that Jonas receives and holidays and just things like being warm and being cold and things that we take for granted and she kind of put that message in subtly and a lot of times as kids our parents always tell us appreciate this moment appreciate this moment because we're trying to grow up and we're we're not really realizing how good things are and but you know it's easier said than done and this book really hits you it's it's much different <laughs> Brendan, how about you? What? Yeah, she's like, be happy, smile, don't be nervous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm taking your advice. Brendan, what, what, what kind of uh, feelings did the story stir in you when you first uh, laid eyes on it? Um, I guess I just really connected with Jonas. Mm -hmm. um, I read the screenplay before the book, and um, and I just, uh, I guess, I was really attracted to his journey and how he's, he finds. Um, you know, imperative moments throughout the story. He learns such deep, visceral emotions um, from the giver, and that kind of teaches him to trust his in instincts and follow his heart. 